Okay, um, let's start like that. Uh, I have a, t a story to tell, and the story is the day I became an open source developer. And this time I want to share insights from my learnings, and there will be no technical detail at all. And um, it's just about the learnings in these 12 years of uh, developing that I find very interesting. So, WordPress can handle many languages. We know that, and we know also there are um, functionalities that we get from plugins, not from the core itself. So, um, and it was in 2011 like that. There were even less. Um, uh, there were even less plugins that wanted to fill a gap, like WPML was already there. Some other plugin too. And, however, in 2011, in February or so, uh, they decided to become a premium plugin. And it was for me like, oh, I have to pay for that. I believe that was, it has to be in the core. I have to pay. No, I'm not okay with that. And I saw already there was upcoming WordPress 3 with the multi sites. And I thought, okay, uh, let's come to a decision here. Um, I will step in, I will create a plugin, I will use multi-sites, and my plugin will be for free. I don't want that anybody has to pay for stuff like that. But that's my opinion. It has not to be the opinion of companies, for sure. Okay. In that time, we already had some debates about premium plugins, and there were, at least in my bubble, something like, a lot of people, they were not okay with um, things like, okay, there are, the, there are these premium plugins, but democratizing publishing like WordPress wanted to do, it was something like, that wasn't fit really well together. And okay, in these last 12 years, that from, from the point where we said, okay, we are not okay with that, till uh, companies now being part of the community and uh, giving back to the community, that changed a bit and I'm a bit more relaxed about that part, at least. But um, I have to say, uh, there are still some things that um, they bother me, but at the end I uh, understood also in time that we have also free plugins, they have complex ethical decisions in their code. Let's say it like that. Yeah. There are two things I wanted to address at least today, um, talking about the lock-in effect and talking about advertising in the dash admin dashboard. These are two things I'm not okay, still not okay. That's my opinion, but it, I think it has, has to be addressed at least uh, from some people. Um, if you um, don't know what the lock-in effect is, it's easy to understand. You just deactivate all your plugins, and if your site is still alive, and you can read the text that you wrote, then you're not, uh, not logged in. Then you are okay with that. Probably you are not, because we will have some of these plugins that um, lock you in. Not that they want to, but the design of their code is like that. So there's nothing to do. Uh, even worse, I believe, is um, that we have constantly upselling in our um, dashboards and that we cannot uh, even click on some of these advertisings to not to see them anymore. Some yes, a lot of them no. So uh, I think we have to talk about that more often. And if you think about, okay, uh, but these premium plugins, they make money, yeah? and you open source developers, what are you doing? You are not making money, obviously. Yeah. So, um, my wife even, even said something like, I, she always thought that a programmer, as a person has a money printing machine, is not using it. Nobody gets the idea why. And for uh, her, even, that I give software away for uh, people, they obviously need the software. It was like, it's exploding my, my brain, so I, I cannot understand that. And, but 
at the end, it's not trivial, not easy to uh, sell software, to create a company, being a business, businessman. That's a decision I did not want to make. And I find also that part quite complex. So uh, no point here for me to uh, making money out of that. So um, despite that, at the end, if you do open source, it's also rewarding. That's not just money. It's rewarding. You are an expert in the field, maybe indirectly, you get better contracts. So uh, somehow open source can, can pay back. And if you talk about payback or sponsoring, that could be interesting for open source developers anyways. Um, in the WordPress directory, you have a link for sponsoring and um, even well, GitHub sponsors has uh, the, the new features regarding uh, sponsoring. You can also, applications can uh, now see their dependencies with open source. They can finance that directly from uh, GitHub. That's uh, quite a cool feature. And so obviously bigger projects they, with a lot of um, users, they can uh, can have their profit in, they can, can profit from that. But smaller projects, obviously not. Yeah? They have uh, still the, the problem sponsoring early comes in. So that is to understand. So what uh, remains is a fun of program, fun programming and or maybe looking for recognition in the com community, stuff like that. But um, if you have no spon uh, sponsoring and maybe you are not having really a, a cool contract with a company that's even paying you for the time on your uh, open source projects, um, you will work on your free time. And obviously, uh, busy, busy stays in, uh, for support for plugins. Uh, for me, it's Saturday and Sunday. So, um, yeah, that, that's a problem that I can have, obviously, my family with me. And um, somebody could also burn out from that. So, uh, maybe that's, uh, you have to think about that. And if you still want to become an open source developer after saying that, that I said that, um, where could you start? Obviously, you see a, a thing like a problem and you want to resolve it, and you want to start uh, writing software. You could do that in another way, which is probably a bit wiser than that. You could um, have something like problem discovered, uh, you found a tool for a solution, okay, it's an open source project, fine. You can uh, collaborate with that project. Yeah? And there are a lot of um, open source, source projects they're looking for uh, developers, for co-authors. Yeah? It's not like they think like, oh, I have to be, I'm the gatekeeper of my project. I give out my, my roadmap. I don't want that. In reality, it's not like that because um, these uh, projects uh, are often more resistant. They, uh, if somebody really has no time anymore for a certain time frame, it can another shoulder can then take just that uh, that heavy load, and often they are much better in quality over time. So, um, ob ob obviously, open source is um, it's not just open source developers. They're doing their their private projects. They are also companies. They are uh, maintaining. Uh, open source, and here's maybe, um, if you think about the WordPress itself, it's a, quite important to have a community, because obviously companies, they don't do that just because they want to be good in the world. They also have to make money because they have to pay their, their bills and the developers and so on. But uh, a community here would really balance well these interests users, community, company. And in that part, open source developers with their small projects, they are doing also their part for the diversification. At the end, it's like they give an uh, opportunity because you have can select another project instead of the bigger premium project. And that balances the, the, the whole story a bit out. And I, think, I find that very important. 
And I have to finish, I know. What I want to say, what most uh, open source uh, developers probably wish for, that's what I learned. It's more time for the project, yeah? but also more time for more free time, the family, not having support on Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> yeah. We have also other days in the, in the week. And active help from like-minded people who would do uh, marketing, documentation, pull requests, whatever you like. And projects like that, they get uh, really, they are a nice thing to work on. But also there's recognition for everybody because um, in GitHub and uh, other platforms today, you can see who did the, uh, the part. And it's also good, like a good business card for everybody and saying, okay, I did that. And you can show that even to your employer. Okay, thank you.